So this is the Bachmann Amfleet 1. It's in phase 6 color scheme and has nice metal ribbing here on the side. When I opened it out of the box, I was actually quite surprised on how well detailed and it looks like it can actually go with my Walters Amfleet 2s, which I purchased before. Now here is a look at the other end and I just zoomed in my camera a lot, so sorry, I can't get a wide angle on this. All right, so on the ends, they have these red end lights as well as some bottom detail with grab irons and the accordion gangway does move from side to side. Now for the other end, it looks pretty much the exact same thing. Unfortunately, they did not color in the head and power for that. So here's what the roof looks like and there is just metal ribbing across couple of vents here on the sides and if you take a look at the bottom there's pretty much nothing right there in the middle part and one thing i never knew about from watching other videos of this is that the bogey they can actually move up and down this truck doesn't look the most realistic because the frame it moves along with the truck but it does allow for more mobility so now we're going to take a look at the cafe car so this is the food service car so they have that written here on the side and if you take a look in the middle it says northeast regional I am from New York City, so these trains do run where I am, so I thought that was cool that they added that instead of just making it blank. And here is what it looks like on the other end. Now, if you're wondering if the bottom detail is different for the cafe car versus the regular coaches, no, they're the exact same thing. But on the roof, there's actually this detail. I didn't think they would include it, but there's like a little bump. So one weird thing I noticed about my coaches is that they both have this same diagonal streak across the roof, and uh, maybe that's just something with the manufacturing. So the way you can tell between an Amfleet 1 and an Amfleet 2 is that the Amfleet 1, they have a door on both ends, while Amfleet 2, they only have one door. Also, if you take a look at the door windows, the Amfleet 1 is more of a square shape and smaller, while the Amfleet 2s are taller and more rectangular. So here I mixed in a Walters Amfleet with all these Bachmann Amfleets, and you can see they go together quite nicely. They also do come with pre-installed lighting. It also comes with a spare coupler for some tight curves so it is extra long and I have no idea what these things are so let me know in the comments if you do. Here's the one that Rapido included. It's a magnetic lighter so you can use this to light up and lights on the car. I'll show you that later on in the video. 
So this is Rapido's Amtrak Horizon car. This car is mainly used by Amtrak in the Midwest, I believe, and I was only able to get the dinette since the other cars are out of stock. But here's what it looks like. It uh, looks very accurate. Um, just like the Horizon car, very well detailed. Rapido is known for that, uh, but they are pretty expensive. And as you can see, this is the other side of it. Since this is a dinette, there is no windows in the middle. If you look on the roof, there's not much except these two little details on top. I have no idea what they are, maybe antenna. But here's what it looks like on the bottom. Now Rapido, they're really proud of how they do detail on bottoms, and I must say, it is extraordinarily detailed. I don't know what a Horizon car looks like exactly on the bottom, so I'm gonna trust on this. Do like the little gears and all the piping. Very nice in the boxes. This is probably the most detailed underbody I have ever seen in a model train. So on the ends of the Horizon cars, there is a little gateway right there, and they added some details here on the sides. And the Horizon car does have a vestibule inside. And the steps have little holes that are see-through, so that was pretty cool. And I never knew this handle existed underneath the doorway. That's new to me. Also, the gang accordions can move in pretty deep. So here is my Amtrak coaches so far. We got the amp fleets and the Horizon car all put together. This car also comes with a pre-installed interior lighting, which is quite nice, and it's better than the Bachmann's actually, so it actually runs a little longer even after you take out the power, so it's a nice fade. Also, the window lights actually stick out outside the car, lighting up the exterior, not just the interior, so that's pretty nice. Especially if you compare it to the Bachmann, which only lights up in the interior, they don't really let that much light outside it. And you'll see that's apparent when you're watching back when it runs with the full train. Kind of reminds me of like the Polar Express, how the window lights come out. And here's what it looks like inside. You can look at the interior. It's a dining place, so you can eat inside. There's a lot of benches. Also, if you remember the wand from earlier, if you just wave it around the end, the end lights actually turn on. And you can actually do both sides at the same time.
So for my final thoughts, I think the Bachman and Fleet ones are pretty good. You know, they're cheaper than the Walters one, less realistic detail, but they have plenty of detail. They look good. And I do like the fact that they included pre-installed lighting and pre-installed labeling with the car number. I know some people, they want to customize it to whatever car, but I don't want to do it myself. I was hesitant at first to get the Bachman and Fleets because I didn't really like their truck design. It looked like boxy and that didn't really look realistic. But after seeing it in real life and seeing all the other details, you know, it doesn't really bother me that much as I thought it would be and it rolls a lot better than the Walters and Fleet 2s. So if you are looking for some rolling stock for your Amtrak train, I do recommend them a lot. Especially if you're assembling a whole train, you could save a lot of money if you go with Bachman. And they're much easier to find than Walters, which is discontinued. As for Rapido Trains, Horizon Car, I think they did a fantastic job. I love the detail on it, especially the underside and it rolls really, really good. Smooth like butter. I love the fact that it came with packaging that was like, you know, typical for locomotives and I love the fun fact they added that the Horizon cars were actually called Amfleet 3s before they were called Horizon cars. I did not know that and you know the magic wand that's pretty cool as well for the market lights. Yeah I think they did an outstanding job on the interior lighting how it shines out. I guess the only real complaint that I have is the price. It's really expensive, but you know, that's Rapido Trains. <laughs> high quality is high price. Originally, I was supposed to get two more passenger cars just like the Bachman, but my order got canceled. You know, these things are too high in the band. So uh, they said they're going to do another run in the future. So maybe I'm going to get one, but probably not anytime soon. And I got them both from CharlesRoad.com. That's pretty much it for the unboxing video and the review. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, hit the like button down below and I'll leave you here with some bloopers. Oh,